Hey guys, this is Kevin. Today we're going to work on a Canon G7020. And uh, we're going to cover what kind of ink you're going to use, how to refill it, if you can just use any ink on the market, or you have to buy the bottles. That is especially designed for GI20 and uh, how to convert from pigment ink to dye ink. Uh, basically, you do need a special design bottles. Uh, you can use any kind of bottle that can fit in the with a kind of needle. You'll find that the Canon's ink intake is kind of uh, uh, split into two parts. So you can just stick a needle at uh, any one of the parts, and uh, you can then you can squeeze ink in. Let me show you with this uh, squeezy bottle. Let's zoom in, give you a better shot. And you can see the ink intake is split in, into two. So I just fit the needle into, um, let, let's like a right one. So put on the right side and then squeeze. Sit ink level and squeeze again. And uh, the ink is in there. So what kind of ink do we use? I'll suggest dye ink. Uh, use dye ink for all the colors, including the black. The original black is pigment. So, uh, there's no brander that you should use uh, dye ink for all three colors. However, even for the black, you should convert the black into dye ink. I have an article here and uh, show you how you should uh, how to select the pigment or dye ink. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll post the link here. Or if you have a cell phone, you can text the word uh, pigment, and I will text you back the link directly to your cell phone, so you don't have to copy it. Uh, basically, the article show you uh, how you choose the dye or pigment ink, and uh, show you what's the difference and how to switch. After reading this, you can understand that uh, when you switch the dye ink, an easiest way is use up the old ink as much as possible. If you take a look at the far left, you can see the black tank is almost empty. As long as the old OEM ink is less than twenty percent. And uh, I feel comfortable that I can just add dye ink to it. I'll put a, uh, I, what I think is the best ink for this printer in the link above. We can just click. The box will have six inks, and uh, you, th you get the three blacks because you get the more. Most people print more blacks, and then you have the CMY, and also the package will including a needle. So what I do is I just put a needle on the top of the. Uh, what what you call the nipple, <laughs> the, the nipple of the ink bottle. And then I just squeeze and uh, fill it up. You can see I'm about combining about uh, maybe 10% of the OEM ink and uh, with, uh, uh, I'll say 90% of uh, dye ink. After the conversion, you want to print uh, more than you often uh, print. So uh, print every couple hours and uh, do it for two or three days. And uh, so, so, so my is uh, spent in three days and I print uh, like uh, 20 to 40 pages a day. And uh, what you want uh, to do is you want the print to get used to the new ink and uh, also the old ink will not uh, congregate. The background is the TV that is showing the uh, the the U.S. women's hockey team get beat by Canadians. I'm pretty upset about it. Uh, silver medal is okay, but uh, gold medal is better. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.